you might have heard of the MOC saga, the Decor saga, the Boss Actually saga, the Good Defeat saga, the Wake Up Singapore saga, the WP saga. But there's one saga that you'll remember. The saga of the saga, the mother of all sagas. The saga that invented the word saga, the Ivan Rim saga. The saga is so bigly that politicians now remember to smile in this only to realize that they are wearing a mask. And colonels now buy drinks for lunch corporate costs just in case they eventually need to run for elections. It's so big that drawn GRC looks different now. And finally, this saga has ended because PAP has spoken. Here's what you need to know about the end of the Ivan Rim saga that I'll simplify for you. So the CC if you don't understand my essence, I'll you idiot. So, so, uh, so, in case you have forgotten, uh, Ivan Lin was supposed to be a candidate for Duron GRC. While people can forgive his 1990s side parting hairstyle, uh, they don't forgive his personality. Eh. The moment he was introduced as a candidate, uh, people online have been circulating allegations about him. Yeah. The first right is his irredeemable attitude during reservice, however, he prays rank. In case you didn't know, uh, during reservice, uh, no one pray rank one, uh, we all just go for two week pay share, eh, whether you are LCP or LTC. To be hated in reservice right, is as difficult as bargaining in NTC fair price. Yeah. Impossible. Then uh, his neighbors also say that he never smiled at them in this one eh, and he's arrogant. I think I think only uh, this is the reason why mask wearing uh, must be compulsory until the next general elections. I don't know, I think only uh, anyhow guess only uh, don't poke me out. Uh. And uh, another allegation right is that he treats his workers very poorly in the place he work uh, in Capraine. But the worst happens right when he's accused of being involved in an international corruption scandal that his company was involved in. Uh. But of course uh, it turns out that he's not involved in it uh, and that one is just allegation only. Initially he said he won't withdraw his candy crush. Uh. Even when he didn't deny those illegitimate allegations, uh, but just said that he set a very high standard. Uh. However, uh, suddenly he said that he was withdrawing and that broke the internet. Yeah. PAP then found another only can look alike to replace him, uh, and people in Jurong are safe once again. For two years, uh, got no update uh, until 12th April, uh, when PAP finally said they have completed their investigations. Uh. So it might be juicy, right? Like, like, like I don't know, like, maybe his hair is fake or his smile is curled the other way around, uh, or, or maybe he has a twins, yeah. but no way. Uh, the ending right is as boring as a Channel 8 drama. Yeah. He really isn't involved in the corruption scandal uh, and his personality right is subjective. Uh. Yeah, so the keyword right is subjective. Yeah, boring is yeah, I rather watch Warren's one TikTok videos. Eh. Also, right, what PAP can confirm right, is his integrity and his sincerity in wanting to serve. In fact, uh, he's still volunteering for lower income families in Drone GRC, eh. although don't know if he got smile or not. Uh. So this could mark the end of this saga, but one question still remains. Eh. Why the heck is this article behind a paywall? Yeah? Now, if you find this video useful and helpful to people in Jurong, consider subscribing. If not, I don't think it will be your NSMPs, you idiot.